Hello. So, I'm in a box. I'm wearing a beanie. And I'm not rocking a beanie look. I look like I belong on TikTok. Personally, I hate TikTok. I did briefly have a TikTok. I think I actually made two accounts. Which will be easy to find because it's just my username. I really don't care if you find them. They're cringy. They're cringy because it's TikTok. But... You can find, some some kid at my school found them, and I was mortified. He was like, I found your TikTok, Tyler. This is a Ravenclaw beanie, which is why I'm wearing it, even though I'm not rocking the beanie. Look, I'm in a box. This is a weird video. So, today, I'm going to read you about squid. So, back in fifth grade, we had to do a, I'm going to tell you about squids. Back in fifth grade, we had to do a project thing, and I'm going to cover up my name because it's my birth name and my last name. So, ha, huh, this is a good cover of it. You probably can't see it. The beanie's done. Um, what? No. We're going to do this. I look like a demon. We're going to do this. I probably just messed it up in 50 different ways, but we had to do... We had to do a thing that was on animals, so I chose squids, of course, and the sources, because we had the cider sources, because it's school, uh, are Brain Pop, Dive, alright, so BrainPop.com, and then Dive by Melvin Berger, and then In the Deep by Mary Kay Carson. Ha! Huh. So, I'm gonna read you about squids. So, this will be our example, Squid. A brief description. I just said a brief description. I unintentionally make a pun of squid appearance. Alright. Squids are fascinating creatures that live in the deep sea. More specifically, the dark zone. According to www.brainpop.com, <laughs> most species of squids are smaller than a meter long. Squid can change color as well. They are also a type of animal called mollusks. Alright, um... Huh. Mollusks are soft body invertebrates or spineless animals. You guys are peeking. Or spineless animals that have a large muscular foot and a mantle. Squids are also cephalopods, just like octopi. The proper plural is octopodes, past self. Um, octopodes, we're going to go with that. And cuttlefish. Squid have one to two giant eyes and ten arms, eight normal and two extra large. You see, because I did this, now I know a lot. I have a, hold on. I have two of these, but they are realistic squid plushies. So, let's talk about what we, this is the mantle right here. This is the mantle. These are the one to two giant eyes. These are the eight legs plus the two extra long ones. There are suckers on the arms to help with hunting. A squid sims by filling, uh, by filling its body with water through a tube called a siphon and launching itself like a cartoon rocket. And I drew a squid cartoon rocket and a little thing of anatomy. This was like, this was intense, man. All right, so the glue on this page is very flimsy. Octopus and squid battle. So, the differences of, of squid versus octopi. It's octopodes, I should have known that. Squid and octopi are similar because they both live in the dark zone. They are different because squid have ten arms, while octopi, I hate that I wrote that, only have eight. They are similar because they are both invertebrates, mollusks, and cephalopods. They are different because, I'm just going to say, octopi, I hate that, <laughs> live around five kilometers below the surface, while squid only live one kilometer below the surface, because we're better, okay? Octopodes, get out. Octopi and squid may seem identical, but they are different. Okay, so now we have 
a squid hunting nearby prey. Now, I'm sorry, children, if that scared you. It's a... Welcome to nature. It's your circle of life. And it moves us up. All right. Hunting. First, a, si uh, a squid sees a fish's glorious, majestic light. I legit wrote that. Next, it draws closer and realizes that it is potential food. Ah. After that, it's two massive... It's two massive tentacles trap the fish in a valley of arms. Ah, the fish tries to break free. Help me! It would scream if it knew the English language. I may, I tried to make this as funny as possible. Finally, it would raise the fish high in the air if it wanted to be dramatic. It shoves your prey into its wet beak. That thing. It shoves the prey into its wet beak. Yum! Everyone needs to eat. Human squid, sperm whale, except sperm whale eat squid, so evil whales. Um, uh, do you, do you like fish? Well, maybe you are way more similar to squid than you thought you were. And I also have a little cartoon there. Chef displaying newly cooked squid. The monster. That's what that cartoon is. The effect of calamari. I legit wrote a section on this. And this was like presented to the class because I was like the example. Um, something awful has happened. A lot of people have hunted, trapped, killed, and ate squid. As a result, there's now less squid in the world. Even worse, people actually liked it, and now calamari is a popular food dish. A popular food dish. So, that means they killed even more squid. It wouldn't be... I wouldn't be surprised if squid ended up on the endangered species list any second now. You hear that? Chefs, one says squids have feelings too. I presented this to my class. I was just like defending squids. All right, so stop eating squid. And there's a note in the corner that I scribbled out. If I figure out what it says, I'll put subtitles there. Stop eating squid. The deck of squid is a serious issue. <laughs> There's now less squid, but we, the people, and other creatures that have caused this can fix it. All we have to do is stop serving them at restaurants. People will just accept it, and squid will once again have peaceful lives. And I wrote a little, like, we had to do, like, a, like a glossary section and a little... Sorry, the storage on my phone ran out, and I stopped wearing a beanie, but we're not going to do the quiz because I care about you guys, and I don't want to do that to you. Sorry about the horrible angle, probably. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay derpy, stay murpy, stay hydrated, and hashtag save the squid.